What it do, what it does, be you been, where you was, but it ain't what it is. Facing the mud, y'all really be hating in the mud, said I can't pick it up, but I did. Y'all know goon put too much bass in the sub, cup full of blood and I gave it a chug. Wait till your neighbors get all snug, then play this real loud where you live. This, that, for the kids, so some, some strength, can't say what it is. No case, can't make say what he did. Make shit move, put a chain on the gear, yeah. I've been on top of the tower, got the power, with the man. Gun cock in his pocket, shabble, put you down with the squeeze, that's rock and power. I done hang with the guys and we talk for hours, yo. What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video here for Life and Fitness. Thank you for joining me once again. Especially one week into the show. Feeling pretty good, not feeling too nervous about it. Still haven't done as much posing as I was hoping to, but you know, it's one of those things. But I have to say I've enjoyed this process and I'll, I'll do a video about things that I've done differently in this prep compared to what I've done in the past. I've really enjoyed it overall. So what I've been doing every day is for the last about a week, we've been coming up here in the morning just before work, getting in a hit session, going to work, coming back and then doing my weightlifting session afterwards so now that i'm in the last week a few things have changed in terms of my diet cardio is now very very important the amount of weight i'm lifting not so much last time we come in every morning doing fast cardio um doing about 50 minutes on treadmill in total the last five minute hit training uh, and then i'll go back in the afternoon and i'll do 45 minutes on the step master so it's a hell of a lot of cardio but it's really making a difference anyway like i said this has been fasted so i am absolutely starving i'm gonna go home get something to eat and i'll catch you guys when i get home all right guys so i've just got home just made my breakfast i'm going to do kind of like a full day of eating i'm not going to make an official full day of eating i've done loads of these already on my channel but i do want to share with you what i'm eating now because it's slightly different to what i normally eat a week out from the show my first meal however is exactly the same i'm going to share with you what i'm having anyway okay for the first meal today i have 75 grams of porridge made with water and 17 grams of protein. I'm using this one at the moment only because I couldn't get hold of the one I normally buy. But this actually isn't too bad. I got this from Holland and Barrett. So using that, then we also have eight grams of peanut butter alongside with 50 grams of blueberries. And in terms of supplements in the morning, I take some L-cartonine, which I've done a supplement video already. Check it out on the channel. A natural testosterone booster and one cod liver oil. So that is my breakfast there for today. Like I said, this is what I've been having pretty much the whole time. So you've seen this on the channel, but my lunch is slightly different. So I will catch up with you guys when I have my next meal. So it's been a few hours since my last clip and I'm just about to have my next meal. Like I said, I'm taking away all of the greens and the fibers and stuff like that um, to try and prevent me from bloating. So this meal is pretty dire to be honest with you. Um, it's still some of my favorite stuff for my diet. But um, yeah, it's not normally what I'd have. I normally would have some more greens and vegetables and stuff. But I'm gonna share with you what I'm having anyway. Right, so it's kind of hard to do this without it dropping. In fact, I'm gonna change camera angles. Okay, so I have about 60 grams of chicken, just normal standard chicken breast, 180 grams of sweet potato, and also some um, almonds, about 10 grams, and then one CLA. And like I said, watch the video to find out the benefits of CLA, because it's definitely something that I think a lot of people overlook. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be my meal now. So what I've got to do now is actually go to the tanning place, and I'm in a bit of a rush. I will explain to you in the car why I need to go there now, but I'm not getting a tan until Thursday. But like I said, in the car, I will explain why I'm going there now all right guys so i am actually on my way to the tanning salon like i said i'm not getting my tan until next week so the way it works is you kind of want to get your tan a little bit earlier and then on the day some people have a touch up i generally have two tans the day before and then just use like a sheen on the day now the reason why i'm going to the tanning salon now on sunday and when i'm not having a tan until thursday is because this particular tanning salon likes to do some sort of a check on your skin beforehand so i suppose it's to cover them to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction but the reason why i'm kind of documenting this is i want you to see actually how much work goes into it the show isn't until next saturday and i'm still doing things today in order to prepare so it takes a lot of preparation to be ready for stage but anyway i'm not far now i've uh, probably got about another five or ten minutes before i get there so when i get there i might try and get the camera out and show you guys what they do Right, so I've had it done. It was a bit awkward for me to film, to be honest with you, so I didn't get the camera out. But all she pretty much done was just put a little bit on my arm there, 
um, to see how my skin reacts. I don't know if you can see it's a little bit darker. Just to see how my skin reacts to their tanning stuff, to see if I have some sort of allergic reaction or anything like that. And yeah, the place looked quite nice and clean. So today is pretty much chill day now. Um, it's gonna go home, finish off that video I've been working on, and then get to the gym later. I've really got to do some posing practice today. So I wanna try and get as much rest as I can before I get to the gym so that I'm nice and fresh um, and ready to go for some posing practice. So I'm gonna head home now and I will bring the camera out for my next meal. Okay guys, so the time is now 4.30 and I'm about to have my next meal. Like I said, once again, all the greens have come out. The other thing I haven't said, I've also taken out any sauces. So I usually have ketchup or barbecue, something like Frank's Red Hot, something like that. I usually drizzle that on as well. I've taken all of that out um, and then I don't have salt in any of my meals other than the last meal of the day. So it's all a bit bland at the minute, but a week out is kind of what I've got to do. So here we are. This meal is really, really simple. Um, we've got three egg whites with one whole egg here. And then we've got 200 grams of steamed sweet potato. I'll take the skins off because I prefer them out of the skins. And yeah, like I said, this is a meal that I really enjoy. Um, I normally have salt and pepper and stuff to make it really good. Um, but yeah, at this point, cooked to some prep, obviously that can't be the case. I've also got some coffee. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So my meals are somewhat really planned at the minute. Stay tuned and I suppose the next time I take the camera out will probably be at the gym. So I'll see you there. So the time is about quarter to eight. I'm leaving a lot later than I intended to. So I'm gonna take my pre-workout and then head out there. Um, hopefully I'll have a good session. I will try and get as much as I can on camera for you guys. So I'll see you in the gym.
What is up guys? So I am back from the gym. So what I couldn't show you is after I finish my training, I normally consume a protein shake with 35 grams of lean protein, 35 grams of raisins, and also five grams of creatine. And I literally have that on the way home. And then as soon as I get home, I cook my next meal, which is what I'm just about to have now. And that is some lean mint. Um, it's actually about 80 grams of lean mints with a quarter of a tin of chopped tomato, um, seasoned with a little bit of garlic and also some pepper and a tiny bit of salt. And then 55 grams of um, basmati white rice right there. Now, normally I'd put sauce on this. I'd put, I don't know, ketchup maybe, barbecue, salt and pepper, extra salt and pepper. But now that I'm so close to the show, I can't really afford to do that, which is a shame. But what I was gonna say is, I think now moving forwards, I'm feeling really drained from my workouts. Um, they're taking a lot longer. I'm feeling really tired. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is now start to reduce the weight. I don't think I'm gonna do any more squats or deadlifts or anything like that. And I think I'm gonna reduce the compound movements now running up to the show. I think I'll probably do more sort of isolation movements and lighter weight. I also think I'm gonna bring the cardio down as well. Basically, I want my body to start warming quite nicely and, and not looking drained and not looking flat. I want it to look full. So I think in terms of putting it under that sort of stress, I am going to try and reduce that. Just to give you an idea of the time and what my days are normally like, it is at the moment quarter past 12 and I have work in the morning. So you can see this is a real lifestyle and takes a lot of time. But I'm gonna eat this, jump in the shower and I've got one more meal. So I'll get the camera out and show you guys what that meal is when I have it. All right guys, so I'm just about to have my next meal. The time now is 1.05. So as you can see, it's quite late. It's been a long day. Um, and yeah, this meal is probably the highlight of my day in terms of meals because it's my sweetest meal. The other thing is, I'm not gonna lie, after I finish it, I do generally feel quite hungry. But while I'm in, I really enjoy it. It's probably easier if I just get the camera and show you what I'm having. Okay, so what we have here is quite a few stuff. Like I said, it looks like a lot, but it really isn't. We'll start off all the way in the left-hand corner over there. So we have there eight grams of lean whey protein mixed with water and it makes this type of a sludge type thing. Um, it doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm not gonna lie, that is absolutely amazing. I love it. If it wasn't so close to the show, I might put a little bit of salt, some cinnamon in there to make it taste even better, but that is actually really, really good. And I use just a tiny bit of water just to get that nice consistency. It's just dressing it up a little bit. It is essentially just protein and water, but doing it like that really helps. Then we move on to this here, which is 50 grams of cottage cheese. Um, I literally love this stuff. Eat it every day, never gets boring. Next two things, so it's got this pink wafer here, which is okay, it's not brilliant, but it's fine. But then next is the piece de resistance, and that is a caramel rice cake with 17 grams of smooth meridian peanut butter. And I'm not gonna lie, this meal is absolutely amazing. I really enjoy it and then I'll just wash it down with a green tea. So that's gonna to conclude today's video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the camera from Thursday when I have the first coat of my tan and then that will follow all the way to Sunday and it will go all the way to after the show and also cheat days on Saturday and Sunday. So really looking forward to the next video. Feeling pretty good. Still got a few things to work on before the show to be ready. But yeah, I'm so happy I'm documenting this and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please don't forget to hit the like button and similarly don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will hope to see you in the next one. Till then, peace.